Hey everyone, it's a shame that we can't be here training, but um, I'm going to do a little video. I'm going to hopefully do these every week so we can pretend we're still together in training. And uh, hopefully, you can all send little clips of videos or some sort of information back on it because it's just nice to hear off you. Yeah, or we'll see the children practicing and you know, keep that club mentality going. Okay, so there'll be three videos each time. One will be dedicated towards the ninjas. There'll be added footage then for the dragons and then added footage again for the seniors. Okay, we're only gonna go a little bit each week, but you know, it's important to try and practice these basics and then we can add on to it week by week. Let me know what you think. And if there's any, any ideas you've got that can help this or improve it, then please message. You know. I'm here to help you. As I've said earlier, uh, dummies equipment I can get. We can, the supplies are still selling. I'm happy to do any of it at cost, just just to keep you guys active and, and training. Whether that's mats, the dummy, keys, kit, shields, whatever you need. Okay, just let me know and I'll get them and get them at cost. Okay, thank you. So what have you haven't got the same equipment as we've got here, so I've tried to make a little course of something that you can do at home, so a belt or anything that can walk on a straight line for your balance. Yeah, I've just got a chair for crawling underneath and the two dummies, but you can use teddy bears or whatever. I'm going to roll over one and jump over the other. Okay, so that's our little obstacle course. But first of all, if you haven't got room to, to run around, we're just going to do star jumps. So just get nice and steady for one minute. Some star jumps. Okay, now when you've done a minute, you have a break, and then your first little bit is as many as you can in a minute. So nice and fast, as many as you can. Yeah. And let me know how many you get done. Okay, so the obstacle course can be anything, you know, you know the sort of things we normally do. So Again, it's just practicing your balance and coordination. Yeah. Your little roll if you've got somewhere safe to roll over. And then jump. Yeah, and go round a few times. Trying to make each time a little bit better. Okay, good. Okay, we can do a little class for the dragons. A little bit of fitness first. And I'll try to do some moves until we can get back trading. Okay, so we're going to start off if you haven't got room again to jog around just some nice and gentle star jumps. Nice and steady. Yeah, for about a minute. Again, have a little break. And then nice and fast again for another minute and see how many you can do. Okay, one proper star jumps, another this. Okay, that's good. Okay, next one, dragons. We're gonna do press ups. Nice and straight bodies. Down and up. Okay, we're gonna do 10. Switch over. 10 sit ups. Okay, and then five press ups. And five sit ups. Okay, once we've nice and moved about, we're just going to do a little stretching. Legs locked straight, feet wider, and then just hanging down. Okay, do that for about 30 seconds. Stretch. Do a few little moves. Okay, we're going to practice just doing some head throws first. And if you like me and you haven't got a partner you can throw about, we're going to use a post, a pair of shoes, flip flops, whatever, to represent your partner's feet and your belt. And you just put the belt around the post. You want it about your own shoulder width height. And all you're going to do is step out slightly to the side, 
step into the right place. So your, your heels meet by a toe down the head. Your knees nice and bent and just lift a little bit. Okay. And also practice your other hand. to the side of the post and again your belt your belt around okay the post is going to be where you're putting your hand step through and just sweep okay and again practice both sides five or ten each side That'll be good. The locks on the dummy for your mum and dad. Remember, you've got them nice and gentle. That sit the dummy up so I've got to kneel down before he pulls over. So you straight arm lock. Remember when I tuck their arm under yours, hand on the shoulder, and back on your own arm. A little squeeze. Remember to do it on your mum and dad, nice and gentle. Okay, I'll show them the other arm. We're tucking this one under our arm, hand on the shoulder, and then under. Okay, and we're going to do the reverse straight arm lock. So this time, we come over the top of the arm, underneath, and back on. And lock. And again, practice on both arms. And the last one we do as ninjas is the figure four arm lock. We're going to hold the arm, bash it down. Wrap it over and hold your own arm. I'll show you again the other way. Bashing it down, wrapping it over and hold your own arm. Okay. So, yep, you can stop that there. Okay, so there are your hold downs that we do with the ninjas, and again you can practice on both sides. Okay, the second part of the kata for the groundwork is our strangles. So again, if you've got a dummy or a teddy bear, you can just put the gi around. It doesn't really need to have arms for this, but it's good. So we'll take our hand, right hand, place it into their right hand collar as high as you can. So your knuckles are right up by the, by the side, underneath their ear. So lift the chin with your forearm and your other arm goes underneath and does the same. And you straighten, twist and pull. Okay. Now the back of the dummy. Hold the gear out with the other hand and place your thumb in as high as you can. Hold. Lift the chin with your forearm. Other thumb goes in and again you straighten and twist and pull. The right hand stays where it is, left hand comes behind, holds around the back of your arm, your elbows in the back of the neck, and it's a pull and push action. The next one, this arm slides across, so the shoulders by the side of the head, and it's a pull and push action. The last one, we come to the side, she's got an arm, to lift it up. The hand goes nice and straight by the side of the dummy's neck. Rip over the base and behind your knuckles there. And pull in. Okay. And we've got the arm locks to practice. So, the sit of your foot tucked underneath the dummy's body and the other one across the neck. Grab the wrist, 
Take it forward. Thumbs on the back of the hand. Leaning back. And folding across the arm bar. And sit up. Under your arm. It's the shoulder. Straight arm bar. Bend the arm. Rest the elbow. And twist. I could do something that I've got a ball and some mats or garden, somewhere that's fairly soft. I'm uh, just practicing your break falls. So just kneel down, put your arm around the ball, tip it over, and on the opposite side, remembering both arms. Over. Okay, it's a horrible one. Okay, and still your arm bring. Do the front drops as well. So a good ten of each. <laughs>